Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to a very special video. So this is actually a pre-alpha build of the game Y2K, a postmodern RPG game. A big thank you to Andrew Allenson for allowing me to play this game. So when watching this footage, guys, please remember that it is a pre-alpha, so it is not a complete game, so there could be minor bugs and glitches, so please just bear that in mind. The game is developed by ACKK Studios and if you want to learn about the game there is information in the video description and also a link to the trailer for the game. It will be coming out on PC, Linux, Mac, PS Vita, PS4 and Nintendo Wii U. So I'm super excited to play this game guys. It looks very unique, very quirky and weird which is exactly my cup of tea. So let's do this. I'm playing with a DualShock 4 guys, as you can see the controls are on screen. Quite a haunting voice there. <laughs> ah, bus rides. I don't have to do many of those, but I always feel awkward on the bus. I never know where to look. <laughs> Often I just stare out the window aimlessly, not making eye contact with any of the many strange people on the bus. <laughs> Looks like he's doing the exact same thing. I'm loving the facial hair. For you guys, uh, most of you will know that I do have a bit of a beard fetish, so... <laughs> facial hair is a win. Facial hair is love. Facial hair is life. Oh god. Oh dear. A panda man is on the bus. Yep, look away. Hold the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Do not touch me, panda man! If I don't look at the panda, it does not exist. I'm loving the art style of this game. It's really, really gorgeous. This is what really made me want to play the game as well. The art style, the design, and just how weird the trailer looks. It's so cool. I used to know a guy that looked exactly like this. <laughs> and the music. The music is amazing, guys. Chapter 1, A Wild Cat Chase My white-coloured Greyhound bus arrived in Frankton on a perfectly beautiful Sunday evening in April. Two or three wedges of clouds, white and tiny in a distant corner of the sky, were like punctuation marks placed with exceptional care. Unobstructed, the light of the sun poured down on the suburban streets. In this halo of spring, even the crumpled silver sphere of a crunch bar wrapper abandoned on the adjacent seat gave off a proud sparkle, like a diamond at the bottom of a lake. I was pale from always sitting in the dark dorm room. Ha, <laughs> no feeling. The light was the brights of the television display. I was homesick, although dreading my newfound lack of freedom. Sadly, I was a bit more than underfed. Ten or fifteen pounds of excess fat had found its way into my bones. Lastly, my mother wasn't waiting for me. She had informed me the previous day that I shouldn't expect her to wait for me. Something about work getting in the way of family again. I always wondered why people do that, throw trainers up on the phone lines. On the power cables, rather. Doesn't seem to happen around where I live, I don't know. Does it happen a lot in America? Yes, I would also like to say that I'm pretty pale. I feel your pain. I don't tan, I just burn. <laughs> I don't go outside a lot though, so... <laughs> 
I'm loving this art style. Hello, ladies. Whoa, they're actually leaving smoke behind them. They're riding that fast. They didn't have helmets on. Safety first, guys. Safety first. Can I interact with this car? This person's got a ticket by the looks of things. Go home. That can't be my house, can it? It's awfully large. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can go in this house. It could be mine. Well, I can't go up those steps. No, okay. I don't think this is my house. Sorry, I'm not trying to rob you! Run away! <laughs> you saw nothing. Okay. I've got a feeling this could be my house. There's a swing outside with a tyre on this very sad looking tree. <laughs> Oh yes, it is my house, okay. Oh wow, inside looks amazing. Very brown. An out of tune piano. Wish I could play piano. Alex, dear son of mine, please see if you can muster up the energy to walk into town and pick up some groceries. I've included a list below. and she's already barking orders at me. <laughs> That's what mothers do! They give you chores and jobs and things to do. You need to contribute to the household, dude. All the good channels are blocked. Well, what are the good channels? <laughs> Should I be asking that? Perhaps porn, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I used to read a lot of books. I just play games now. <laughs> Actually, I prefer audiobooks, really. A plate of cookies mysteriously left on the countertop. Perhaps they are poisoned. I wouldn't eat them either. It's a trap. When there's cookies left out and no one's touched them, it's a trap. <laughs> I should put these away. <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> Oh. What was that? Uh, it's a sink, couldn't you tell? No, I couldn't. It looked rather mysterious. <laughs> Two pieces of bread lay mysteriously untoasted in the toaster. Never trust untoasted bread. Never trust it. Why would you leave bread in the toaster, man? It'd go stale, wouldn't it? It would do. Bread goes stale really quick if you leave it, leave it out. At least it does in my house. My house is really hot, though, so... We still eat as a family at tea time. Leads to the backyard. Oh, I think that's about it in here. I'm liking this house. It's very nice. I'd be delighted to have a house like this. My mum says this represents childhood. I don't know if I see it. Family portraits. Framed ultrasound. Framed ultrasound. Wow, okay. <laughs> the colours of home. Wonder what that means. Used to be dad's dresser. <laughs> yeah, don't go rooting round your mother's lingerie. <laughs> you never know what you might find. And you don't want to find it, trust me. Don't do it. The latest hit, He Wants It That Way by Back Alley Boys. <laughs> no way. That's awesome. It's playing on the radio. Mm -mm 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 Camper won't stay empty for long. 
My mum wouldn't let me bring my games to college. Glad I'm home. I took all my games consoles to uni. My TV, PS2, Wii, all that kind of stuff. I was naughty. I spent a lot of time on my PSP, PS2 and Wii in college and uni. Well, in uni, sorry. I didn't take any games consoles to college because I just commuted there every day. Music from a better era. Panda! Can I not interact with the panda? Sad face. Need to find batteries if I want to play it. This room is cool. I like it. So do I have to go grocery shopping now for mother? Mother! I will get food for the household since you are too lazy to fill up the fridge. Okay, I think we're done, so... Oh, oh, oh! Ring, 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 ring! Hello? The Oh god, it's like the Matrix. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's, that would be my reaction. That actually just made the hairs on my arms stand up. If a game can do that, it's doing well. Yeah. <laughs> and no, I couldn't hear the music. So, do we just like. Is town this way, maybe? Perhaps it is. Let's see. Run! Oh yes, okay, this looks like we're heading into town, which is cool. <gasps> oh my god! Of town, I came to a junction. Look at that cat! Is it a cat? I think it's a cat. Mulling over the strangeness of being back home, I stopped to notice a forest I'd never explored. Oh, it's like Alice in Wonderland. We're going to be lured into the forest and strange things are going to happen. It was dark. what it would be like to <laughs> I imagine describing him to a friend. That's the face of a cat you can trust. <laughs> lonely? Nah. I don't get too lonely. Besides my mom, there's only a cat. An old cat. But a good friend to talk to. My fictional friend would reply, You talk things over, do you? I'd nod. Uh-huh. Been together a long time so we can read each other's moods. I understand what makes the cat tick. The cat knows what makes me tick. Of course I didn't know this cat at all. <laughs> the cat knows, that's why it's nodding. It's like, mm-hmm, I know all. I'm an orange cat, and orange is the best colour in the world. Never met. Mm-hmm, yep. You've been tangoed. <laughs> a funny resting face and a Salvador Dali moustache. Gotta love those whiskers. I couldn't imagine picking out this cat to bring home from a store. entirely knowing if cats like to be pet at all. Cats love to be pet. Well, most of them do. They can turn so quickly, though. I'm always wary about stroking cats that just randomly appear on my road. I'm like, are you a trustworthy cat or are you going to turn on me? His coarse hair ran through my fingers as he purred. Clearly he liked me. That was a good sign. Alex Eagleston, college graduate, friend of small animals. Whoa! <laughs> Meow! See, they could turn on you. Hey, give them back to me. <laughs> see, see, don't trust. I said it was the face of a cat you can trust, but you know, I made a mistake. Never trust an orange cat, guys. This is what you've learned so far. Oh cool, we get to actually do some combat now, that's awesome. Blob things! I don't know what they are. Slimes. 
Oh, let's have a look at the menu system. So we've got attack, we've got skills, we've got items. We can't do that other option. We've got defend and we've got run. So let's have a look. We've got just normal attack. Oh, it's cute! Took five damage. Oh, do I have to actually press X to, like, stop it from doing it? I'll try that on the next one. Skills! Smooth Jazz. Should we try Smooth Jazz? Oh, wow! Okay, let's try the other skill. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah! Critical damage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just stand there all cool like. This was nothing. I can see the cat there in the windy fields. Chase it down! Oh wow, just look at this scenery, it's so gorgeous. Windmills, I love windmills. You only get the horrible metal ones around where I live, you don't really get any good old fashioned windmills that are pretty to look at rather than the horrible large metal ones. Into the woods we go! Oh no, it's gonna get scary! Forest! Do not enter. Oh great. Come into somewhere and it says do not enter. That doesn't bode well. Wow, this just looks stunning. Oh, there we go. I can jump up on the log. Look at the ripples in the water, guys. Ah, oh, attention to detail. Love it. And those trees. Ah, oh, it just looks so cool. It's really giving me an Alice in Wonderland vibe, this forest. Come on, cat. I'm going to get you. Another do not enter sign. Oh god. <laughs> like a hero. God, this this shopping list. Did I not just memorize it? I can go through the tunnel. That's awesome. Let's have a look over here. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to climb up the ladders though, so. Oh! Hang on. There we go. Anything in here? Can't see anything. I thought there might have been some secret item or something, but no. Oh well, on to following the cat! How do I grab things again? Oh, there we go. How do I... Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Yay! Made my way up. Yeah. 
in through the window. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm not robbing you. This is all innocent. I just want my shopping list back. Oh, what's this? Guess I'm not going this way. Oh, look at all the little floaty lights. Going up or down? Expected to find a cat. I scanned the dark floor and found nothing. I sighed as the elevator began to shake, vibrating with motion. The elevator came to a smooth but unexpected stop. Anxiety as the lights flickered. Please don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> I actually really hate lifts or elevators. Um, I really don't like. I'm. I would say I'm a little bit claustrophobic, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> I did get stuck in a lift once. It wasn't for long. It was for about ten minutes. Um, but it was really scary. I pleaded with the mechanical god to keep the power on. My prayers weren't answered. Damn it! The power's out. I need to find the stairs, or a fuse box. Oh no! Nothing happened! What's this? Heal, heal thyself. Okay, so drink- Oh! There's little bloblets! We can do some more combat, guys. Awesome. Oh, it's a giant rat! Feel the wrath of my jazz. Check out my sick beats. Apparently I can speed up with enter, I think. Yeah, I can. There we go. Victory was mine that day. My beard gained five extra hairs. Oh, hello. Oh, I got my first item, I think. It's awfully dark in here. Wonder how many times I can heal myself from that. Maybe it's infinite. Another giant rat. Let's destroy this vermin. Probably go back and heal. There we go. Oh, it's a panda! Hey, who's there? D don't come any closer. I'm armed. Relax and quiet down. It's me, Panda. Panda, Panda Power. Panda? Why are you here? I came here to help you. I'm always there for you when you need me. Uh, that's good to hear. What sort of help did you have in mind? My primary use is as a barrier. I can block oncoming enemy attacks and create barriers between you and many other obstacles. Oh, cool. My metal shield makes me very heavy. So you can use me to hold down switches and to clear small gaps by stepping on my head. Open the tools menu by holding down L1 and move the cursor to select panda. You can press circle to summon me. 
Remember to press circle again to call me back. Also remember that some weighted switches will have reverse effects if you take me off. So, press circle to summon you and press it again to take you back? I think I get it. Yep, that's easy enough. I hope so, Alex. It's rather straightforward. However, since you were a liberal arts major, want me to explain this entire thing again? No, nope, we're okay. Oh wow, that's awesome! Okay, so... Okay guys, so I think I'm going to stop this video here and there is going to be some more videos of this pre-alpha build for Y2K, a post-modern RPG. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share the video guys, it really does help me out. Again, information about this game is in the video description. Leave comments down below, let me know what you think so far. I think it's friggin' awesome. It's so cool, so unique. Loving the art style, the music and loving the gameplay so far. I'm really intrigued to see what happens next. Hopefully you guys are too. Anyway, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time, guys.